Hello, and welcome to Talk Tech. I'm Kristen White, and here with me on the show, I have Eric Pettit, Director of Marketing at Livescribe. So, tell me about the company. Well, uh, Livescribe uh, was founded about a year and a half ago, um, where there's about 70 employees here today, and uh, we're uh, in the business of creating a new platform um, we call uh, SmartPen um, to really change the way people write and change the way they capture and share information. Great. So tell me about the smart pen. Well, this is the smart pen. I don't know if you've had a chance to take a look at it. It's really a computer inside of a pen, and uh, it captures everything you're writing, but also captures everything you're hearing if you choose. So you can go back and you can actually link what you hear to what you write um, and play it back so you never miss a word. So how does it work exactly? So you have to use some special paper with it, right? Right. What's really here's the paper. Um, it's really normal paper. There's different sizes that are available. What's special about it is we printed a very fine dot pattern on the paper. You can hardly see it. It's uh, barely visible to the human eye. Oh, I see. Okay. And that's okay. how the pen tracks your writing. Um, okay. The pen has an infrared camera at the tip. It takes 75 pictures a second. So as you're writing, it's tracking what you write and it's capturing it in the pen's memory. So the pattern is allows the pen to differentiate not only which page you're on, but which position in the page and which book? That's right. Okay. That's how, right. So, how, so it's able to have a unique you can, unique enough pattern to do that? Exactly. So every page of, uh, of these notebooks are unique. Um, and so that it basically allows the pen to interact with what you write. Um, it also allows us to uh, create new applications with the pen. Um, I'll show you a couple demo applications later, but uh, there's a translator demo. Uh, you can also create, draw a piano and then play it. Um, there's some pre-printed applications, there's a calculator. So it really allows us to uh, create all types of applications that you can then interact with just by writing on paper. I understand from looking at your website that it, it's open, you have a software developer's kit. Correct. And other people can actually write applications for your pen. That's right. We have about over 1,300 uh, developers who have signed up for the kit so far. Okay. Um, and we have a pre-beta release of the kit out now. Um, and later this year, uh, we'll have the final SDK available and we'll be able to, and, and consumers will be able to download applications directly to their smart pen. Were there any challenges in incorporating, so the pen has, I mean, a processor, a display, as you showed me, a camera, a battery with sufficient battery life, mm -hmm. um, getting that all in such a small package. That, that was that the challenging? biggest challenge for us, is how do we put all of this computer power into such a small device right. that could fit into your hand. Um, as you mentioned, there's a uh, speaker on the pen, there are two microphones, there's a, um, an LCD screen, um, there's two gigs of memory in the case of this pen. Um, and there's an ARM9 processor, uh, which is really the, the brains behind the product. So who's your target market for this product? Well, we, we think of this as a product for anyone who uses pen and paper, broadly. Um, it's really great for everyone from students to professionals, uh, journalists, obviously, who are interviewing, um, uh, to lawyers, to doctors. Uh, for us, we're going to really initially start with college students. Uh, a couple reasons for that. College students are heavy note takers. Um, right. Note-taking is critical to their success in school. The, you know, the better they are at really being able to capture all that information that they're being bombarded with, the more successful they're going to sure. be. Sure. Back in 97, there was a similar type of product to yours. Um, Cross, the major pen manufacturer in IBM, made the Cross Pad um, that was a technically successful product, but it faced some market challenges. It didn't really take off. Mm -hmm. So what's different about your product, your technology, or perhaps the, the, the marketplace today yeah. that will make your product a success? Well, we've seen uh, in the past some companies have tried to launch digital pens that essentially take your notes and upload them to your computer. Right. Um, what's different for us is we really have a computer platform here. We have a product that works well by itself. There's applications embedded within the pen that make it useful just with the paper by itself. Um, what's also unique is the recording capability. So right. Having the, really having the audio as well really allows you to, where well, you're capturing all modes of human, er, human communication now. You're, ca you're capturing what you write, capturing what you hear, and that really allows you to um, better leverage that information and make more use of it later. So what about the increasing use of, of um, laptops or mm -hmm. tablet PCs kind of in conference rooms and lecture halls? Yeah. Do you, do you uh, foresee that as competition with your product? To some extent, I, I think we've done a lot of research with college students and um, especially at Berkeley, but a number of universities across the country. And we found that about 8% of college students tend to bring their laptops to class. Um, most of them because they really don't have a better option. Um, the, the laptops provide a lot of different challenges for them. It's, it's hard to lug around all the time. 
Um, a lot of professors really don't like having the laptops open in class because it, they tend to be surfing or distracted doing other right. things. Um, the smart pen really allows you to leave the laptop at home and really focus on capturing that information and really spending your time really listening. Tell me a little more about the history of the company. Well, our founder, Jim Margraff, um, uh, really is uh, the founder of paper-based computing. He's um, launched uh, the LeapPad from LeapFrog. He also la launched the Fly Pentop computer from LeapFrog. Um, so he's thought a lot about you know, pen and paper interaction and how we can bring that paper world into the digital world. Well, great. Well, thanks for telling me all about your product. And um, now let's feature a demo of your technology. Sounds great. So this is the Pulse Smart Pen. I'm going to just walk through a little bit of, of what's on the pen and some of the features of the pen. Uh, this is a speaker, so the pen can play back everything that's recorded for you. This is actually a microphone uh, built into the pen. It also has noise canceling software built into the pen. OLED screen, so it can help you navigate through applications on the pen. Um, audio jack at the back, you can plug in the included 3D uh, recording headset, um, recording earbuds with the pen. Uh, USB port connection here, that's how you transfer your notes up to your computer. There's an infrared camera at the tip of the pen. Um, that camera takes 75 pictures a second and that's how it tracks uh, what you write uh, while, you're, while you're taking your notes. Now the core application uh, is called Paper Replay. And basically, to start, whatever I write, uh, Pulse is capturing everything I write all the time. And I can always transfer those notes to my computer. If I want to record at the same time, I tap on re the record button at the bottom of the page, and now it's recording everything I write. So if I write, you know, one, this is the Pulse Smart Pen. Two, we'll talk a little bit later about the LiveScribe desktop application, uh, and that's really the computer application that allows you to search and share your notes. And then three, the LiveScribe community, and that's a community where you can post your uh, your notes. We call them pencasts, uh, and share them online through Facebook um, or through email. I'm going to hit stop. Now if I go back and tap on my notes, uh, you'll hear what was recorded while I took those notes. One, this is the Pulse Smart Pen. Two, we'll talk a little bit later about the LiveScribe desktop application. Three, the LiveScribe community, and that's a community. And Kristen, earlier when, when you were giving your introduction, I was also taking notes, so I can tap on notes from previous, uh, previously. I'm, I'm Kristen White, and here with me on the show, I have Eric Pettit. Director of Marketing at LiveScribe. You can also speed up or slow down your notes. So okay. Kristen White, and here with me on the show, I have Eric Pettit, Director of Marketing at LiveScribe. All right, I can slow you down. Good morning. So, to, so okay. So, so you really have control over accessing wherever you want to be within your notes. Translator demo. And the translator demo. So let me show you that. Spanish. So this is a demo app. It gives you a sense of um, some of the third-party apps that we're working on with partners right now. Write a word. So now I can just write a word on the page. If I write one, uno, and it'll show the word in Spanish, uno, and it'll also say it. Uno. Coffee. Café. Please. Por favor. Let me show you the piano. Draw your piano. First, draw nine vertical lines from left to right. Okay, so draw nine vertical lines. Tap the keys to play. So now I've got a piano. That's about all I can play on the piano. So we've taken our notes, and now I'm going to uh, connect the pen to the computer so we can transfer our notes online. And it comes with a little USB cradle little magnet cradle that allows you to um, transfer your notes. This is also how you charge your, your smart pen. This is the LiveScribe desktop application. So these are the notes we just took. I can scroll in, uh, zoom in and zoom out. I can also tap, I can also click on the notes and you'll play back the audio that is synced with the notes. Top Tech, I'm Kristen White and here with me on the show I have Eric Pettit can also search for words within the notes and this is really powerful for um, business professionals or college students that are you know they know they wrote down something important but they just can't find it so if I write in uh, Kristen you can see it highlighted your name you're able to upload your notes to the community so that you can share them you can also uh, convert them into PDF files 
um, and we're able to share them through Facebook or through the community.